Hey guys, I have a fun tutorial for you today that will teach you how to make a spiral plant hanger using square knots. The finished plant hanger measures approximately 6 feet long from top to bottom. The spiral section is about 2 feet, but I will show you how to adjust this section to make it longer or shorter. Let's get started. For your setup, cut 8 pieces of rope, each piece is 20 feet in length. Fold each piece so that there is 6 feet on one side and 14 feet on the other. Attach using lark's head knots in four groups of four strands so that the 14 foot section is on the outer side and the 6 foot section is on the inner side. The sequence should be like this, 14 feet, 6 feet, 6 feet, 14 feet. It should be set up in this way so that when you are tying your square knots, the cords on the outside, the working cords, are longer and the cords on the inside, the filler cords, are shorter. We will work in four groups of four for the majority of this tutorial. To start, we will tie a sinnet of six square knots with each group. I have tied two sinnets here so you can see how they look. When I'm working with long cords, I will bundle up the bottom to make it easier to tie the knots, which is what I have done here. You have now tied one half square knot. Tie another half square knot to complete one square knot. If you are having trouble with the square knot, please see the description for a link to a more in-depth tutorial. Tie five more square knots, six square knots total. Repeat this process with all groups. You have now tied two square knots. Count your square knots by the bumps on the side of your work. To create the spiral, we will bring the two outer groups in front of the two middle groups and tie one alternating square knot. Repeat this pattern to create a plant hanger of your desired length. Tie a sinnet of six square knots with each group and then bring the outer groups in front of the middle groups and tie an alternating square knot. I've created five spirals in total, which is about two feet in length. Next, we will create the section to add the pot. I will be adding a pot that is approximately seven inches tall, eight inches in width at the top, and six and a half inches in width at the bottom. Working one foot down from the bottom of your spiral, tie one square knot with each of the groups, four square knots total. Here's what it should look like. If you are using a smaller pot, leave less space in between the first and second row of square knots, or if you are using a bigger pot, leave more space. I will leave 4 inches of space in between the two rows. As you tie your square knots, you will start to create a circular mesh which will be used to hold your pot.
Leave another four inches of space, then tie a gathering knot around all cords. You can use a scrap piece of rope that is about two to three feet long if you have it to tie your gathering knot. Pull the bottom cord so that the loop is hidden within your gathering knot. I usually end up leaving the bottom cord hanging and cutting off the top cord, but feel free to cut off both if you'd like. Here's what this section should look like once it is finished. Cut the ends to your desired length and then feel free to unravel the rope to create a bit of fringe. I've cut mine about 1.5 to 2 feet in length, measured from the bottom of the gathering knot. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, it would really help me out if you could hit the thumbs up below, and if you think this tutorial may be useful for others, please feel free to share it. I love to see your work, but sometimes I can miss it, so please tag me on Instagram or Facebook if you've used one of my tutorials, or if you're using some of my ropes so I can see your work. Don't forget to subscribe for weekly video tutorials. Thank you.